Welcome to the Soulmate Twin Flame journey for this week. What I'm gonna do because of that intense message yesterday for the Divine Masculine, I wanted to take a look a little bit more in depth in the Divine Feminine side and see if there's anything that you, um, as the Divine Feminine for a Twin Flame relationship, if there's anything that you need to take action on Whatever the universe wants you to know. Now, keep in mind, this is a soulmate slash twin flame. So those of you who um, are looking for information regarding your soulmate, see, we have multiple soulmates. We only have one divine masculine, one twin flame. Okay, so we're going to look at different groups of you or, well, we're going to look at a group. I want to really focus in on your energy to see what's going on because they're telling me that exactly you're not sleeping at night. So I have a feeling this is going to coordinate with the message that was given yesterday for the divine masculine, but I'll focus it towards both soulmate and twin flame. So the nine of swords is a person who can't sleep, restless, um, anxious, worried, nervous, even fearful, fearful about communication. You're stuck in a negative thinking pattern. Some of you are thinking that your, your soulmate twin flame may not be coming back to you. You're worried. You're feeling those of you that this is about the twin flame, your divine masculine. You felt them crying. This is saying yes. You, can, you can't sleep. You're waking up in the middle of the night, 2, 3 a.m. You can feel their energy. Now, for some of you, if you are not healed, if you haven't removed, figured out what the blockage is, and you have not removed the blockage, this is not going to be your reading. This is about waiting, hoping, praying that your divine masculine is feeling the emotions regarding the connection. You're in a daydream state. Those of you who are in a soulmate relationship, you're feeling the energy of your soulmate, but you're also feeling your own energy as well. You want to open up, but it's such a lot of burden on you. The Ten of Swords is really ab about carrying a lot of weight on our shoulders. This can be in our, in our profession. This can be in our family life, in our relationships. The good thing is the Ten of Swords is getting ready to drop off. So you're coming out of this phase. You're coming to a really good place. You're recognizing that the Divine Masculine is starting to open up. You can feel the intensity through the dream state waking you up in the middle of the night. Soulmates, you are looking at moving forward, but there's a fear of you being independent. The Nine of Pentacles is a person who is very grounded, has built a world that they love. This is the single card. Single, independent, and free, but happy in the world that you've created. You're afraid to move forward. Some of you are, are in a holding pattern. You're not letting go, letting God. You, you have to say, you know what, if it's meant to be, they'll be back. For those of you, you're, you're divine masculine, you feel them crying, you know what's going on within them. And it's hard, it is hard, but it is gonna stop, it's gonna stop. The 10 of wands is that heavy, heavy burden associated with this. For some of you, you may have started your own business, definitely felt that weight of your business. You're feeling really confident within you. But there's still that fear, and the fear is about your soulmate. You want to let it go, but you can't. You can't let it go. That connection is so profound. You can walk away from anybody, but you can't walk away from this person. That's the connection. 
that's the spiritual connection. So the top row, for those of you who are new, I'm so sorry, I did not explain. The top row is representing the chaser, the one who wants the relationship up and going. The bottom row that I'm gonna do right now is the soulmate, the masculine energy. The one who's the runner, the one who runs away. All right, let's see what's going on. So, yes, your soulmate is definitely, they have the Ten of Wands as well. So they are feeling the weight, the intensity of this relationship. And for those of you where I'm talking about your twin flame, the divine masculine, knowing that you're feeling their healing, you're feeling them crying. They know they need to make this call. They need to contact you. The Eight of Wands is communication coming in from your soulmate, from your twin. You guys live at a distance. Definitely, there is no communication going on right now. The burden on your soulmate's end, on your divine masculine end, is that they know they need to communicate. They need to communicate that they are open emotionally. They want to start a relationship. They've been waiting for the right moment, the right moment to travel to you, to communicate to you, to open up. Now they're in a really good state within themselves because the, you know, the Knight of, of Cups is a daydream kind of state. So this is them having dreams about you in their sleep. They know because they are having the dreams about you. They know who you are. They know the connection. They know they do love you. Oh, there is love. Most definitely, they need to open up. Some of them are having great difficulty trying to fit you into their schedule. I know that sounds really awful, but because you live at a distance, because it's a hectic time of the year, work, holidays, all of the things, weather, all of the things that take place, it is difficult for them to plan and actually be able to execute meeting you. This is about them traveling to see you, communicating, they wanna come see you. They want to see you in person and they're gonna open up. But until they do this, this is a heavy, heavy burden on them. Now you're feeling really good except about your soulmate, about your divine masculine. Other than that, you're feeling good. You've put all your energy and effort into you. You've done the work. You've done the healing. There's just a sense of fear, a fear that they're not going to communicate with you. But they are. They're trying to find a way to do it, to open up. For some of you, well, we're going to look at the detail. I want to see what is going on here with these negative cards. So if you like this video, please click a thumbs up and share. And if you like my style, you can uh, subscribe. I'd be ever so grateful. That's what keeps the channel up and going. For those of you that wanna see the detail, that you wanna see if this is actually what's going on in your life, you're in a really good place within you, you're feeling confident, you've done the work, you've risen up to a certain level, you're ready. So, if you'd like to find out the detail, you can click the link below. This will shoot you over to Vimeo and we'll look a little bit further. And then on the Vimeo side, I'm gonna see where this is gonna end up over the next one to two weeks. But I wanted to make sure that I got this for you guys. I had a ton of messages and asking that I do this reading a little early. So I'm gonna help you guys out and give you some information that I hope will help you in your life. So click the link below and I will see you on Vimeo. Much love.